It's time to go Inside Innovation, brought to you by Allegiant, pioneering safety. Well, the Mira Awards are described as the Oscars of tech in Indiana, but it's more than just a party. It's a six-month season that culminates with the gala, where successes are celebrated, and the spotlight is on Indiana's growing tech economy. Nominations for the 2022 Mira Awards open next week, and I'm pleased to welcome back to the show Tech Point President and CEO Mike Langelier, and uh, also Yao Aning to talk about why these annual awards are more than just a trophy. Gentlemen, welcome as always. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Gary. Hey, hey, Mike, I want to start with you um, on, on Mira. This has, you know, continued to be such a big, such a popular event. Obviously, COVID uh, made this a virtual event, which was nice, but not the same as in-person. Going to change to in-person. Tell, tell me about the interest and how big this event uh, has become and why it's important in your view for the tech economy in Indiana. Yeah, it's that time of year, Gary, uh, the time when companies and universities and cities and individuals all across the state submit their applications for, as you said, what's known as the Oscars of Tech in Indiana, uh, the Mira Awards. And uh, in April of 2022, pandemic permitting, we'll be back in person for the first time in three years. And I think as we all have felt the, the separation of not being um, in close proximity to people that we care about and people in our community over the course of the past couple of years, we're looking forward to changing that, having people back in person. Um, and uh, that, this will be, yeah. I, can, I can imagine already, um, that sold out crowd at the JW Marriott in downtown Indianapolis. Yeah, as you mentioned, sellout crowd. So lots of people there will be jam packed. Uh, but also in terms of the interest, you have continued to see an increase in the number of entries, the number of applications and from not just central Indiana, but around the state. Yeah, we have. And last year, we saw trends that I like in a, in a lot of different uh, dimensions. We saw more regions and companies and people from, from all across the state. Uh, we saw more individuals from underrepresented groups all across the state as well. It was, that, was, that was a really positive sign from last yeah. year. Uh, and as you said, the quantity continues to increase uh, yeah. too, um, which is a good sign for both innovation and for uh, tech company growth. Yeah, Yao Ning, uh, CEO of Malomo, uh, a really innovative shipment tracking platform. Yao, you won not one, but two awards uh, last year as the startup of the year and also the rising entrepreneur. Those things are neat to have, those, those trophies. Uh, and you got one right over your left shoulder there, I see in yeah. the picture, in the shot. But what does it mean to, to, to win an award uh, at the Mirror Awards to you personally and to the company? Yeah, I mean, it was it was an honor winning two mirror awards. You know, I I've always dreamed of winning a mirror for the longest time as an entrepreneur. It's kind of the highlight as a uh, as a business owner to be recognized in that way. Um, and in for the company, it, it just did some tremendous things. You know, I think I, it really solidified us as a breakout tech company um, with an exciting company culture. And, and it also helped us from a hiring perspective. It had a huge impact on our brand reputation. We saw a flood of applications from prospective candidates to open positions, which helped us really hire some key team members. So hey, yeah, it, yeah, I only have, about, only have about 20 seconds. Give us a quick snapshot of Malomo. Uh, I know things continue to grow there. Yeah, yeah, things have been really, really great. We, we work with e-commerce merchants. As, as many people know, e-commerce is growing tremendously fast. We saw you know, our team double in size, our customer account triple in size this year. Um, and we were, we were also honored later in the year to the Forbes Cloud 100 Rising Stars list. Uh, I think the Mirror, Mirror Awards really set us up there there All nicely. Right. Yao Ning, the co-founder and CEO at Malomo. Mike Langelier, the CEO at TechPoint. Mirror Awards uh, applications uh, open up uh, November 30 next week. Looking forward to that event. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Gary. Thanks for having us.